Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigerian newspapers. And I begin with uh, the Nigerian Tribune. The major story here says mayhem in rivers. Mayhem in rivers and some riders to the story says stakeholders allege VK Fubara at war. Uh, suspected thugs set house of assembly ablaze as the state house of assembly was set ablaze on sunday if we recall then the house removes majority leader serves governor with impeachment notice another story says another writer here says tell me why you want to impeach me governor is asking another faction elects the new speaker please apply water cannon tear gas to disperse protesting youth governor affected in the process now call Wiki to order to order edwin clark an elder statesman is telling the presidency and then another story here says police arrest two pupils for setting school property ablaze 70 bodies found in abia community the governor was speaking saying talking about this uh, just yesterday now, history will vindicate me over Supreme Court judgment. Atiku, the PDP presidential candidate at uh, the 2023 presidential election, speaking after his loss at uh, the Supreme Court. And another top corner, we have how seniority arrangements thought appointment of new Supreme Court justices. A laughing too. A court hears suit filed by Oyo Kingmakers against Makinde today. I hear that he was apology can't stop his impeachment process when the speaker is saying Abuja court fixes November the 17th for ruling on effect of assembly's appeal. Now we move to the front page of the Vanguard newspaper and the major story here says chaos erupts in rivers. Uh, some riders hoodlums bomb uh, Bond State Assembly, but uh, the story, according to our reporter, has been authenticated that um, hoodlums actually set the place ablaze as against the report of uh, bombing. And then we have another writer here saying that uh, le 24 legislators sign impeachment notice against Governor Fubara. Uh, 26 lawmakers suspend Speaker, three others install Edison. Go to court, new Speaker tells aggrieved lawmakers, a John's House signed Synodyne and uh, security operatives shot directly at me. Fubara is saying that uh, the governor is speaking. Uh, challenges 24 legislators to list his offense, condemns the burning of assembly. Police command launches investigation. PDP governor summon emergency meeting today. And you see pictures uh, of uh, the burnt uh, state of assembly there. And uh, the governor moving with some of his aides to uh, take a look at uh, the state of things. And then he conversing with uh, the police there also. And then we move to another story at the downstrip. Says Supreme Court verdict struggle continues as long as I breathe. Uh, PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar, and he went on to say Nigeria greater than, okay, now this response is from APC saying Nigeria is greater than your selfish ambition, the presidency APC tells ex-vice president. And protests rock just over alleged conflicting tribunal judgments. 31 sports, uh, Messi wins eight ballon deal. Congratulations to him. And at the top corner, Federal Executive Council approves 2.17 trillion Naira 2023 supplementary budget. Electricity sector privatization has failed. Federal government admits autonomy. Oyo Edo Kanu Ugungundo assembly workers begin indefinite strike. Tribute as elder statesman Nwabweze dies at 94. To the leadership newspaper and uh, still talking about... Uh, the issue coming out of River State, the major story here says confusion as Rivers lawmakers plot separate impeachments. Eight pro Fubara legislators remove Speaker, Deputy Chief Judge, uh, 24 others sign impeachment notice against Governor. PDP Governors hold emergency meeting today. Clark seeks Tinubu's intervention. And uh, the stories here parliamentary workers shut down state assemblies. Federal Executive Council approved 2.1 trillion Naira supplementary budget. Palliatives, federal government labor meeting shifted holds today. Well, Q third, okay, third quarter, all right, talking about records uh, report, recorded 
uh, by a bank there. Now, at the top corner, Gaza conflict creates uncertainty in global oil market. I have absolute confidence in Gaza Biamila. The president is saying this. And ex-education minister Ben Mwabweze passes on. To the front page of the nation newspaper, still talking about the crisis. Rocking River State, reverse quakes as governor gets impeachment notice. And some writers here say the assembly is split into two faction sacks. Uh, Chief Justice Fubara fires weakest loyalists, says, I can't be impeached. And Atiku Slam, Supreme Court over election verdict, APC, he is delusional. CNJ buses will revolutionize transport sector. We had that conversation earlier. And then Federal Executive Council locates 2.17 trillion naira 2023 supplementary budget and uh, 5.9 billion of that is for FCT roads. Nigeria, Germany signed $700 billion solid minerals exploration pact. One of the details on the front page of uh, the nation newspaper and quickly by also Kogi 2023 talking about the off-cycle election security agencies will ensure credible election uh, the nsa is saying this uh, emo students endorse uzodema's re-election bid odds favored diri says ikioga uh, more defections to apc in kogi all right, now U.S. court declines request seeking release of Tinubu's FBI records. To the salient times now, rivers crisis. Lawmakers serve impeachment notice on Governor Fubara. And uh, the writers here say, Governor summons emergency state security council meeting. I committed no offense, can't be impeached. Governor Fubara is saying, state assembly suspends chief judge. Uh, Wiki plans to remove Fubara, install river speakers. Governor Edwin Clark is saying... All right, we've launched investigation into the situation, the police is saying, after water cannon uh, was used that affected the governor while he went to inspect the state of uh, the assembly that was set ablaze. All right, we have autonomy, Ogun assembly, workers join nationwide strike, shots assembly. All right, uh, court sentences man to life imprisonment uh, for baiting girlfriend with acid after she rejected his marriage Proposal. All right, all of the details you find on the front page of the Salient Times. We move now to the Daily Independent. Uh, we gave Fubara rift festers as move to impeach Governor Fields, talking about the reverse crisis. As suspended House leader emerges speaker, adjourns seating, police shot at me, they wanted to kill me, Fubara is saying. Governor Sachs, chief judge, chief of staff, other VK loyalists. PDP governor said to intervene, summon emergency meeting. All right. Another story here says presidential election, Supreme Court judgment erodes trust in electoral system democracy. Uh, former Vice President Tiku Abubakar is saying. 50 bodies discovered at Abia Market, Governor Oti reveals. And uh, Tinubu Talksdorf warns ministers against campaign of calumny. Senate reveals how NSMPC paid 14 billion naira salary increase without approval. All of the details on the front page of the Daily Independent to the Daily Times now, cops shot at me, Rivers Governor alleges to aghast him. Uh, smoke and Gulf State Assembly access, lawmakers serve Fubara impeachment notice, Clark Fingers weakest asks Tinobu to discipline minister. All right, and uh, Tiku claims Supreme Court's legalized illegalities, fears for democracy, insists he will not flee Nigeria because a six-year single-term rotational presidency. Well, teenage robbers on the rise in Delta State. That's another story you find on the front page of the Daily Times. Ibrahim. Right. Daily Trust is first here. Seven weeks after Tinobu's visit, Nigeria, UAE row lingers. Nigerians in UAE cry, cry out over work permit, visa ban. Federal government working to resolve issue, according to official, and the cry slow pace in resolving diplomatic row. Impeachment plot. PDP governors meet today to save Rivers governor. 90 million Nigerians lack access to electricity. That's according to the president. 20 feared dead in Cross River, Benue community's boundary dispute. Uh, federal government approves 2.18 trillion naira 2023 supplementary budget. Unstable exchange rate forces imports down by 65% in third quarter. Taraba boat accident. 17 bodies recovered. 12 rescued. 
Tinubu Atiku continue field after Supreme Court verdict. Judgment mandate bandit, uh, judgment mandate bandit robbery, ex-VP, and um, your inordinate ambition doomed, as according to the presidency. Uh, moving on to other story, which is uh, Nigeria News Direct. Supreme Court verdict, Article breaks silence, berates judiciary, INEC, stop using delusional, delusional, or stop being delusional, accept defeat as a statesman. APC to Atiku. You read that on page six. Above the nameplate, Ogun leads other states in CNG switch as Abiodun vows to mitigate hardship. That's on page two. How, how directors of Nigerian maintenance company approved 14 billion naira salary hike without regulatory approval. That sounds, uh, that's according to Senate investigation. You see that on page 21 of the Nigerian News Direct. Moving on to other story. A blueprint is next. Aftermath of Supreme Court's uh, court judgments, Atiku vows to fight on, says democracy on life support. I'll continue the struggle to deepen democracy. It's time to take a bow. Presidency, Atiku obese defends flimsy, argued on social media, as according to Professor Yadudu, the a APC, page 6 of the Blueprint newspaper. NEDC donates 2 billion naira to Maiduguri Monday market fire victims. You see that on page 5. Federal government seeks resumption of direct flights to USA. Naira to reach fair value of 750 naira to dollar by year end 2023. That's the federal government. Part sector privatization, Genco, Disco licenses renewal, not automatic. That's according to the federal government. On the bottom strip, or before there, uh, FEC okays 2.17 trillion naira supplementary budget for 2023. Tinubu passes vote of confidence on Bajabia Mila. Impeachment. Fubara Rivers Assembly field deepens. Call Wiki to order now. Edwin Clark tells Tinubu PDP governors meet over crisis today. You see that on page six of the Blueprint newspaper. Next is the Punch newspaper. Retire now. Presidency tells Atiku. Ex-VP rubbishy Supreme Court judgment. Apex Court legitimizes illegality. Atiku insists, urges INEC to verify credentials. Atiku's presidential ambition doomed. Ex-VP desperate, say APC presidency. Uh, above the nameplate, Tinobu canvasses 2 trillion naira discos recapitalization tariff review. You see that on page 21. Federal government approves 2.2 trillion naira supplementary budget, also on page 21 and on page 7. 70 corpses, skelet, uh, 17, 70 corpses, skeletons uncovered near Abia cattle market. That's the governor. Uh, Rivers Assembly in crisis as Wiki's loyalists move to impeach Fubara. Ohaneze Saludo Mern as legal icon Mwabweze dies at 94. Taraba governor mourns 100 boat accident victims, orders probe. That's uh, all about the Punch newspaper. Next is This Nigeria. 70 headless decomposing bodies uncovered near Abia cattle market. Scores killed as troops raid forest, arrest gun runner, recover weapons in Anabra. Anambra. Also, uh, fake. Approves 2.17 trillion naira 2023 supplementary budget. I'll continue to struggle to deepen dem democracy, says Atiku. APC, APC to Atiku accept defeat. Congratulate Tinubu. No plot to impeach Aquabio, says Ndume. Uh, also on the bottom strip, rivers fire fury as assembly complex burnt over alleged impeachment plan against governor. You read that on page four of this Nigeria and on the ear of the newspaper, federal government approves 5.9 billion naira for Abuja light rail access roads. That's all about this Nigeria. Next is business day. And last but not least, relief for businesses as Nigeria waives tax penalties. Payment of taxes in dollars to stop before December Government proposes emergency economic intervention bill. Uh, also, oil firms' debts surge. Most 
on devaluation. Oil firms' debts surge most on devaluation near 10 trillion naira. Weaker naira puts banks' loans books at risk. Tinubu's government targets 750 naira to dollar exchange rate by year end. You see that on, on the front page of the Business Day newspaper. Article Slam Supreme Court ruling seeks urgent electoral reforms. And above the um, nameplate of the newspaper, the big story, millions trapped in poverty as federal government's three, uh, three trillion naira intervention drags. Millions trapped in poverty as federal government's three trillion naira intervention drags. That's all about uh, the pages of the newspapers that I have with me here. Veronica. All right. An array of issues this morning on the front pages of the papers. The matter in River State dominating this morning. So if you want to know more, just speak any of the papers uh, to find out more on any of the stories that interests you.